did it feel like your organs were larger than they normally are? I don't know what that feels like. So, uh, what's it feel like? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> So first it just felt like a stomach bug and then the next day I had a fever and I lost my appetite and I didn't like to eat a lot and then it started like having like kind of my belly started hurting like when I took I took like Tylenol what was it that I took? And Advil. Advil and then it would stop and I could eat. And then when it went away, I couldn't. And then after that day, after that day, um, we went through the whole day with Advil and stuff. And then at, at when I was um, at night, when I was sitting at the kitchen table, mom asked me, um, can I come feel your belly? And when she felt my right side, it hurt a lot. And then how long did it take you to, because I understand you, you went to several different hospitals. Um, when, when was that, like, what was your experience going to that initial hospital? Um, it felt like it was my first time going to a hospital and it was nothing like a doctor's office. But when, when we went there, they took me to this room they put me on an IV, which I didn't know what that was at first. And then I took my blood pressure, did all that stuff. And then we got on this chair and got my echo. What's the Cat thing? Scan. Cat scan. And then after that, like an hour after that, we got on the helicopter and drove to the Reading Hospital, mm -hmm. right? And then at 7.30, 7.30, we got my surgery. You have a good memory. <laughs> <laughs> did, did they put you under for that? Did they what? Put you under? Like, were you unconscious for it? Uh, they, gave, they put this mask on me, and I breathed normal air, and then... Then they put this weird gas and that hurt my back, the back of my throat. And then I just fell asleep right away. <laughs> what was that like for you? How did, how did that make you feel? When they put the mask on, I thought they were gonna like give me laughing gas, like at the, den <laughs> like at the dentist. And I was like, um, and then she, she pointed me to a balloon and then I was like, then I start feeling weird, and then she was like, this might hurt the back of your throat, and then she put the gas on, and I was like, ow, and it kept hurting for a while, and then I eventually fell asleep. I imagine you're getting a lot of questions, not just from me, but from other people in your life. Um, a lot of teachers and kids at school are asking me stuff. And what do they ask you about? And, and how, much, how much are you where, able to tell them? They're like, where were you? Were you? What were you doing in the hospital for? Why'd you go there? Like all that kind of stuff. And do you know much about what this means for you long-term? Because um, it sounds like you're going to have to periodically, they're going to have to check your heart capacity, for example. Um, having lived through this at this point, you know, are, are you concerned about what the future might hold? No, not really. Because <laughs> I feel good right now, so I think that's a good sign. That's a wonderful thing. <laughs>